Hi everyone and welcome to week three of our Tula Pink Sew Along for the Butterfly Quilt 2nd Edition hosted by Pat Sloan at her website ilovetomakequilts.com. This week we need to make eight blocks and they are very similar to last week's. So let's get to it. Here are the blocks we need to make this week folks, only 8 blocks and very similar to last week except these are not chunky crosses, they are slightly more proportionate. So remember we do need to make 8 in total and you will sew them together in a breeze. Here are the fabrics we need to pull for this week, I forgot to take the photo before I cut the fabrics but I didn't think that mattered so you'll see them here already cut out in their pieces and parts. So without much further ado, let's get into it. What you see on the table in front of me here is all of the pieces required to make all eight of these blocks. During this video, once again, I am going to show you in detail once, and then I do actually make the remaining six blocks all together at the end of the video. What I've just shown you there is all of the half square triangles that I have already sewn on each side of the diagonal line. I just haven't trimmed yet and the squares ready for the next slot from these fabrics. Here you'll see me laying out all the pieces as per the pattern and once again we are going to start by piecing the center unit for the top and the bottom row and during this video I do grab the middle strip and start to piece one side of that as well to progress forward. With our little top and bottom section sewn now we just need to press those seams open and I am also this week going to press the middle row open as well. As several viewers have pointed out to me the pattern suggests that you press all seams open. As this isn't my normal practice I am just doing what I would normally do which is pressing open smaller sections and pressing larger sections to one side. I think the reason that the pattern suggests to press all seams open is for when we are sewing all of the blocks together as there would be a lot of seams coming together in those areas. I am just going to progress doing what I would normally do and I will tackle whatever issue comes up when it arises. With our parts all pressed now what you see me doing here is just adding the other side to the middle row and then getting ready to sew the top and the bottom row together before sewing the final two horizontal seams and our block will be finished. Once I had the middle sections of the top and bottom row sewn together, I could have progressed and sewn the block together as a nine patch. That's one option that you can choose. I filmed all these videos many weeks ago before I became unwell and before I have gone away on my vacation. I am just editing and putting the voiceovers now while I'm away at my sister's. So bear with me on some of the video content. With all of those sections now sewn and pressed let's just lay it back out once more as per the pattern and get ready to sew our final two horizontal seams. Once these seams are sewn I am just going to give it a final press and our block will be done or in this case blocks. Thank you. 
So that is it for the two blocks I was making with detailed instructions, but please watch all the way to the end while I show you how I chain piece the remaining six blocks and right at the very, very end, there is a very special announcement. Thanks for joining me again this week, folks. It's been another fun week and hopefully everybody is up to date and caught up with where they need to be. Remember, it's not a competition. These videos are here forever and we all march to the beat of our own drum. So, the special announcement. I've decided to do a subscriber giveaway. So, when we reach 3,500 subscribers, I will be announcing a prize and a competition for reaching that milestone so stay tuned for more information on my community tab i'll see you all again next week bye for now <laughs>